tree there, doll. Well, you got mirrors. Friday afternoon, here we are, you little ripper. Great way to um, end a Friday is to hook up the van and go and do school pickup. So we'll see how that goes because uh, we all know what school pickup's like. Um, I've just, I'm heading off a little bit earlier, but Laura's at work at the moment, so I'll pick her up on the way. And we're heading west. They do say west is best, but uh, with the recent weather conditions in Melbourne, I'd probably beg to differ. Alrighty then, strap yourselves in, let's go. We'll turn on the old safety Dave. We're off. Yeah, hopefully um, Laura doesn't have to work back and we'll be right. Last pickup. Laura's picked a great spot to pick her up to. Have a look at this. Won't be forgetting the jars this time around. Hey, Dom. Hi, Hi. There you go. I thought you were going to get alcohol. Well, I think I need to. Given the driving to the expert in traffic, because you know how much I love traffic. This is typical Melbourne going west. So over the Westgate Bridge, she is bumper to bumper. It will take us a good half an hour to get over, won't it? Over the Westgate, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Usually this trip would take us probably an hour and a half towards Geelong. It's saying two hours. It's already saying two hours from here. But towing in traffic with a big caravan is not yeah. not fun. Not to mention we didn't show up before, but there was um, roadworks which diverted us off our original route. <clears throat> so it's important to note, you know, obviously the height of your caravan and um, any bridges around and, and all that sort of stuff. Roadworks ahead. Road works. Mm. Really got to, especially when you're coming into a city. Um, but this is uh, glorious Melbourne. Looks like there's plenty to do here. Unfortunately, the weather is 
Victorian weather. Not hit anything so no, no drone, no finder. No drone today, it's a bit too dark. It's always a reason. There, doll. Oh, you got mirrors. I'm looking at the caravan. I told you I'd get out. Keep going. Yeah, straight back. I don't think you're going to get it. You're going to have to go forward. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Where's dad? Where's dad? What happened to dad? What happened to dad? Hey, <laughs> being silly. Don't put your bum in me face. <laughs> All right, how was your shower, mate? Yeah, it was good. The showers are really warm. Yeah? Yeah. How, lo how long did you have a shower for? Uh, I don't know. I lost track of time. Yeah, see? Yeah, how good is it? Good. Feels like, it just feels like having a shower at home. Yeah, exactly. It feels very good. Exactly. Coco's happy. She's just had her dinner. Alright, who's who's making these burgers? Me or you? <sighs> or both of us? I can help. You can help? Yeah. Alright. We're having burgers tonight and I've got the uh, burger ingredients ready. So our cos lettuce, cheese, tomato, onion, beautiful buns, the secret burger sauce. This is our beef from the farm. All right, I'm going to leave it to the boys to do. All it's right, let's go. Pretty simple. Beef mince, panko breadcrumbs, Worcestershire sauce and parsley. So he likes to mix, so this is right up his alley. Am I allowed to mix this? You're allowed to mix this. Break it all up, darling. Even worse when we don't have the awning out because you open the door and the rain's just going straight on you. Anyway, while it's crappy weather outside, I'm doing some tidying up inside. So we've got three cupboards at the top, and I've got three of these containers that I bought from Kmart. And one of our followers, uh, Sylvia, she got us, she made some stickers for us with our names on them and she also made stickers for our shower, you know, the shampoo, conditioner and body wash. So, I finally found a use for the stickers that she gave me. 
These ones here. Joy, Harrison, Laura. I had this idea at Christmas last year, so for, for the boys, I gave them one of these containers each and filled them with like lollies and snacks and all their favourite things. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. And um, anyway, I've kept them and now I'm just going to put their names on them and they're going to be our individual pantries. So it's going to be easy for Harrison to find his wheat bix or his muesli bars or his two minute noodles. It's going to be easy for me to find my chocolate and Troy to find yeah. all his vitamins and stuff yeah. <laughs> that you've got here. Like I don't even know when you last had one of these things, but they're in the van. <clears throat> well, that's actually for hiking. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So I used to I used to have those when I was doing marathons and triathlons. Yeah. And they're essentially just it's like a um, carbohydrate. Yeah. Meal. Yeah. Just a, like a, a supplement. All right, I'm going to put these stickers on and I'm going to try and fill up these pantries as much as we can and then we'll all have our own door and then some other stuff will just slot in between. I'm not really sure. I was saying to Troy that I really want a pull-out pantry here. That's going to encroach on my space. Yeah. It's just one that I can just... Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> that won't be happening. Anyway, we'll work something out. All right, I'm gonna do this. What time is it, 8.30? 8.34, checkouts at 10. <laughs> Sylvia these look awesome and I'm gonna be even more stoked when the guys have their own little pantries so I'll do that now and I'll show you what I'm gonna put in there managed to fit both of these containers in one cupboard so my so Troy's are mine and Harrison's is here and then this cupboard just has bits and pieces in it and then the pantry is nice and tidy with all the uh, like spices and cake mixes and stuff we've got an action-packed day well we did we still do <laughs> we're going to the Chocolatier factory. Yep. We're going to drop into a winery. Yep. <clears throat> that should be fun. Have some, have a wood fire pizza. Oh, yeah. For lunch. And then we'll head over to our friends. Might check out the surf shops again. Yeah. Take care of some there. There'd be no, uh, we, we did have plans to go snorkeling and spear fishing, but mm. that's not going to happen today. It's just. No. And the wouldn't you know it, on. it's going to be 30 and 32 on Monday and Tuesday when we're back at work. What are the chances? Oh, uh, well. But soon enough we'll be uh, living the dream full time. So. That's it. Alright, I'm going to see if these fit. These can be our undie sock things. So I'm going to try that. Can you hold that please, Dal? Try it on your side. It actually fit, darling. I told you it would fit. <laughs> Perfect. Right. I'm just doing it. See mine? See how nice 
Yeah, I understand that, but my hats are up that's here. why I, I don't understand why you haven't cleaned up my side. You roll, I fold. Yeah, because then it doesn't get creased. And it sits there nicely, actually, if I put it like that. It actually yeah, it holds it in better, doesn't it? Open. A pair of undies, socks. Done. I've had an accident. Probably happened to you once in your lifetime of caravanning. Schoolboy error, I didn't turn the tap off. I opened it, bang. <laughs> I, wish, so, I wish I saw that. Yeah. Well, the next door neighbours saw it, <laughs> and they had a, they had a little chuckle to themselves. <laughs> anyway, experienced campers. All right, I gotta look up where we're going. So we're gonna go find the Great Ocean Road sign, which I think is just down the road. Just before long. Eight minute drive. So unfortunately, we didn't get to show you around the park because it's just it's wet. Yeah, it's you know you can't control the weather, and um, it was a nice little stay. Never. Nevertheless, yeah, we watched a movie, we yeah. had dinner. Yeah, it was good. So, $66 a night here mm. for two adults, one child. On a powered site. On a powered site. Still getting up there. The unfortunate thing about the Great Ocean Road is I don't think there's any um, free camps. Yeah, there's not many free camps. They've got you. They're, they're very far Goalies. away, and a lot of them aren't dog friendly either. Yeah. We might get to see the sign. We'll see how we go. Wow. We're going to have to do a twenty. This is what we're here for, people. traveling with dogs. Dogs on tour, great isn't it darling? Yeah, <laughs> You're free darling. Good girl. You happy girl now? I'm not having a good day now. My, my shoes are wet, my socks are wet. Oh my god. Oh. And now it gets better. I'm not getting that. That's your job. Alright, ready? Fist out. No, I picked up LBS. Fist out. Quick, quick Fist door. out. This is how we do it. Ready? One, two, three. Bang. <laughs> you lost. It's what hold on, two of us <laughs> lost. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Far <laughs> out! <laughs> She's doing two. Fine too. It's still crap day.
<laughs> yeah, it was good. It was actually. Yeah, well, it wasn't too bad. It was actually really interesting. Oh, money, money well spent. Yeah, every every um, floor they had had little facts on it. Yeah. Um, what did you learn? Uh, well, up there in the light, box, uh, the light, that house, the light up there. Yeah. Um, uses over ten thousand light bulbs in it to shine. Um, that's no good for climate change. <laughs> so, Is it still in operation? Um. No, I'm not sure, I shouldn't say, but they use red lights, so if ships, the red light doesn't travel very far, so if the ships come close and they see a red light, they go, oh, too close to the bay, I might hit some rocks. Yeah, man down, man down. So, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah it was. a climb up there. It's alright, yeah. there's lo lo lots of steps, but yeah. it was worth going up there. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nice, nice view? Yeah, it was, you could just see everything from up there. Nice footage for us. Yeah. We're gonna have to put the drone up. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's go. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocky, chocky. <laughs>
old Brea state as you can see we've changed our attire we've um although I was soaking wet from this morning with that de debacle with the water hose <laughs> um so I've been and plus my feet were wet <laughs> so all day I've been walking around soaking wet so we decided to get changed uh, in the car park of Belbray Estate, uh, put the drone up and got a little bit of footage. Unfortunately, I couldn't get right over to the coast because uh, I only had like 29% battery, but all in all, not too bad footage, I don't think. Um... <laughs> I was wondering whether the viewers noticed that I got my hair done. I didn't even notice. Yes, you, knew, you knew I went to get my head under <laughs> yeah. uh, um, So we're off on our way to Torquay at the moment. We've got a, a top little free camp that we're going to go. We're going to show you guys. <laughs> um, and we're going to catch up with our friends and have a nice Christmas dinner together. Yeah, so our friends that we that come camping with us come, um, sometimes, they uh, we're going to catch up with them and have a Christmas dinner at their place tonight. And the free camp... Way. We'll tell you shortly. <laughs> okay, wait. God damn, girl. Okay, so we're down in. Okay, please stop pulling. We are down at the Torquay site, Torquay Sailing Club, and our friends are actually members here. So their kids are going to take Harrison out sailing, which is really cool. This is something he hasn't done before. Troy's going to put the drone up. Look at the doggies. It's a bit windy for the drone, but yeah. we'll try it. At least we just want to get some close up footage of the kids and the sailboat. How are you feeling, darling? Awesome. I was a little bit nervous when they flipped it, but no, nah, they're right now. So when they flipped it the second time, you were less nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least we can see them now. <laughs> Mac, Mac knows what he's doing. So, so when they flipped the boat, some characters are okay. Like, hey, oh, we put the drone out there to check on them. Now they're coming back in. Sailors have finally come back in. We'll go and see how they went. How was it? Yeah. Did you panic? I saw that. Did you panic when you capsized? Nah, not really. Nah. I just held on to the blue rope. I so did. I was not too far away, and I just, you know, drifted off. Yeah. That's me. Because when you start drifting off, it's hard to swim back to where the yeah. boat is. But no, it's fun. Yeah, it's good. Go fast. Yeah. yeah. We were hitting waves as well, like really far. Awesome. Water was splashing everywhere. We had Pirate of the Caribbean music playing as well. Oh, uh, <laughs> perfect. perfect. Yeah, so the first time um, it was going up and, you know, me and Sarah are kind of just holding on. We're going backwards. Oh, no. Mike's just... Uh, no. The Mac no, has... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Laura's off 
up bright and early to take Coco for a walk with uh, with our friends. And uh, I thought I'd stay back here and sort of get ready. I've got a Christmas party to go to today. So Laura's going to drop me off at the station and then um, is going to make her way back home and drop the van off. But I just wanted to show you this little ripping free camp in uh, Torquay. Let's go and have a look. Beautiful grassy sites. Look, don't even have to put the steps out. The step out like this. Come around, we've got a nice, nice tea tree here. Footpaths down to the beach. And here we are. Residential land. <laughs> so we parked up here across the road from our friend's house and um, just stayed here the night. They don't, obviously we had, had to put the caravan somewhere. And um, yeah, it's nice and comfortable, wasn't it mate? Very quiet. Yeah. Residential streets. Not another caravan in sight. Just a couple of cars parked. Mm. How'd you sleep, bud? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Mm. You're tired after your yachting episode Ye yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Um, very fun, though. Yeah. yeah. It was good, even though we capsized a couple of times, but, you know, it was a great adventure. Yeah, beautiful. It was good. No, no, it's good stuff. Thanks again, Mac, for taking Harrison out. Mm. Uh, yesterday, I'm sure he, he's hooked now, so he'll be out a lot more doing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Good fun. It's a pity we couldn't get out snorkeling, but uh, next time we're down, we'll uh, definitely hit the water. Uh, so, we're going to see if we can find Laura and pack everything up. We're already hitched up, obviously, because we <laughs> parked on the street. Probably. Well, there you have it. That's our suburban stay. How did you find that? Our first residential street stay. Oh, you, you filmed outside yeah, where we stayed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. um, extremely <laughs> quiet street. Like I said, not very busy, not many caravans. Actually, there's one parked in the driveway there, but um, that's supposed to be there. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thanks again for everyone that's tuned in and liked and subscribed. Helps us grow. And we'll see you on the next one. What have we got in the next one? What are we doing this week? Well, this week's mm. episode will be next week. So next weekend, oh, we've got my Christmas party. So oh, I don't we know do. What we're this, do. We've got a few Christmas parties. I'm going to one right now. Um, the other reason why I forgot to, to mention, the other reason why we had to stay in the street is the Torquay had a festival on this weekend mm. with Jimmy Barnes and, well, I think he was sick. but Jimmy Barnes, John Stevens. Yeah, and the place Casey was packed. Chambers. So every single <clears throat> caravan park. So you've got to do what you've got to do. Yeah, no, it's good. It's yeah. perfect, yeah. Bye for now. We'll see you on the next one. See ya. See ya. <laughs>